Can I challenge one uh, premise that we all seem to, nobody challenges this, that everybody <laughs> says, we just want everybody to get along. I heard someone on a panel say that last night. We want the two parties to get along. We want them skipping along, holding hands, come by yacht. I think <laughs> I do not want the parties to get along. This is an adversarial it was system. It wasn't you either. <laughs> I want what's best for the nation. And if the only way to get it in this case mm -hmm. is to, to uh, use these strategies the Republicans are using, then I endorse them. So you you're, with, you're with Ted Cruz, who well, said, I don't, think the Was I don't think Washington My needs main more man. compromise. That's what he said on Fox News. Compromise today. is not the end game, nor is going out uh -huh. to have cocktails with the other, with, uh, across party aisles. The, the end game is bringing America back to its founding principles, getting it to live within its means, getting a robust economy. We've forgotten so, about growth. We don't even talk about growth. All we talk about is malaise. That means more shutdown. No. Potential default on our you're debt. You're talking procedure. You're not talking about <laughs> Impact substance. on economic growth. That, that's what the all of this means. If you're not going to compromise, that's what all of this means. No, no. Be. Economic growth is the Obama tenure. I mean, the uh, dampening of economic growth. His entire mm -hmm. tenure, worst recovery in 60 years, 50 years. Right, worst economic um, <laughs> disaster no, no. in 60 you years. You guys, that's Although I will, say, I will say that I do agree with something that David said, which is that you don't need everybody in Washington to agree all the time. And the fa fact mm -hmm. of the matter is I'm never going to agree with everything SE has to say, everything yeah. that you have to say. We shouldn't agree with what John Boehner has to say. But the fact of the matter is that we're, there's such a logjam in Washington that nothing can happen. That's good. And it's, but no, if, if it's not good. If it's Obama good. stuff happens, because it's, it's hurting, terrible. It's hurting our economy. No, no, no. And, and, no. and when you talk about the president's extreme agenda, I don't know what measure you're using to say that the, yeah. president's, that the president's policies are extreme. Because what the president supports and the president is trying to advance and what the president has got done are mostly pretty popular things, even things that weren't popular when they got passed. Healthcare is an exception to that, and I think the American people are still undecided. They're sort of 50-50 or 45-45 on that issue. The things the Tea Party supports, now that is what is extreme. And if the only oh, measure on. that you have are national polls, Bill, yes, to, the Tea Party but, is but, in a very far-right, But off Bill, to David's place. But to David's point, it does seem like there is a sense on the left of, of giddiness around this shutdown that it's working. In fact, I, I thought it was really inappropriate that the mm -hmm. vice president and Democrats sent out fundraising emails over this shutdown. Do you think that that, while the president was refusing to negotiate? I think, well, first of all, first of all, Republicans, the right Republicans have been raising money off this. And you just showed me an ad that Republicans are running about this, uh, trying to oh, fight no, no, politics. No, no. But the exact language was, the exact language of this is, we can't watch this happen. It's us, up to us to call out every last Republican we can and make sure True. the American people know exactly who caused this mess. It just seems like this is petty politics, and it seems like there is a, an ethos on the left that is, yeah, let this shutdown happen. It's working. I guarantee that Stephanie and I are in more closed-door meetings with Democrats than you guys are. True story. And that there is <laughs> no giddiness about the shutdown. Not now, because and, no, and finally it's back, but you didn't it, anticipate Ted Cruz. Your, your example there mm. is an example ten times over on the Republican side, and they're on record. You have Michelle Bachman saying, we've never been happier. <laughs> Than this shutdown. Because, because Ted Cruz saying we got what we wanted. Yeah, so, we want the nation's yes, attention. They want the government to shut going. down. They, no, no, you know no. we're not going to roll back Obamacare. No, they don't want to shut down. You know down. we're not going to delay Obamacare. You know that was going to result in I a don't shutdown. Know that. And here we are. What what hurts the economy, back to your point, you, you guys say what hurts the economy is this shutdown and the, these defaults. What hurts the economy is Obama bad mouthing the economy, bad mouthing the market, scaring the market, scaring seniors, demonizing wealth, demonizing the successful, always pitting people against each other. That hurts the economy. And, and his policies are killing the economy over regulation, well, over taxing, over spending. Let the market breathe. Believe in America. Believe in its founding principles. And let's restore growth the natural way. Believe in the people and what they can do.